Mimi ninaomba governor wa Matangi nina kuomba udilink wa Matangi Foundation from the activities of the county government the link Mimi Mimi nikisema hapa tuongee mambo ya chama Even though I was not in Uda but I believe in Uda I believe in the motto ya bottom up Sasa hii wa Matangi Foundation wako na mtu anaitwa logistics officer at my ward the logi in the wards in fact in the whole wards there is a logistic officer wa Matangi Foundation kama kwangu tinganga yeye anaenda mashinani na anasema mwaura hana responsibility ya representation at the ward surely surely ai ai nilitisha kura niliomba kura nikapewa huyu ni appointed is he recognized within the act he is not and i will bring a motion in the assembly to re, to to kuuliza hiyo whether they are constitutionally re, recognized kama honorable members wamekuja because of issues ambazo zina affect kule machine and see vita we we will support our governor to perform because yeye ana to support na si tumsupport lakini kukiwa na conflict ya ina hii lazima tuzungumze nga ati leo hii nikitaka barabara itengezwe tinganga niandike barua niletee governor nikitaka street lights zitengezwe tinganga niandike barua niletee governor nikitaka chochote kitendeke at the ground level niletee barua governor i never saw this me all i know is devolution the s the ile effort the message ya devolution ilikuwa ku devolve funding from the national government mpaka pale mashinani na ndio niko na Kiambu sub county Kiambu sub county administration officer huyo ndio niko suppose ku engage na yeye kuna sub county roads engineer there is a sub county social work social worker there is a sub county ECD there is a sub county in matters of devolution there is a sub county tumekuja leo kwa sababu tuko na jambo ambalo linatuguza sana ambalo ni za la basari na sisi kama viongozi ambao tumechaguliwa tunapata habari ya kwamba basari zinapeanwa kwa njia ingine ambayo haija haiko ndani ya zile sheria ambazo tumetunga kule kwa bunge na ndio tumekuja siku ya leo tumueleze governor akubali sisi tufanye ile kazi ambayo tulichaguliwa kufanya na akishafanya hivyo sisi hatuna shida na yeye tumekuwa tukimuunga mkono na tutazidi kumuunga mkono kwa hivyo sisi tumemuomba atafute nafasi na hata tusipomuona leo 
kesho tumesema tutakuja kumuona. Tusipomuona kesho, kesho yake tutakuja kumuona. Kwa hivyo hapa hakuna shortcut. Shortcut ni governor aje na aweze kunena na hawa viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa. Atofautishe kazi ya Wamatangi Foundation na kazi ya governor wa Kiambu. Na hiyo tunasema ni illegal na afai kutumia wale watu kufanya ile kazi. Na sisi tunakuwa tunataka kuambia governor apeane basari kurigana na vile imenakiriwa katika kisheria. Sheria imesema kwamba ma MCA ama ward zitapata basari asilimia ya 85 na na asilimia mbili zibaki kwa ofisi yake. Aweze kujua ile asilimia anafaa kutumia hiyo group ya Wamatangi Foundation ni asilimia ya mbili si asilimia ya 88 na tano. Jambo la pili mambo ya barabara Tangu tuchaguliwe na gavana alikuwa amesema kuna mambo ambayo alikuwa ameahidi siku mia moja itakuwa imeweza kutekelezwa. Hakuna hata kitu hata moja ishawa ionekana imefanyika katika wodi zetu. Barabara zetu ni bovu, mvua imenyesha, imekata na sasa barabara zetu ni bovu. Wananchi wanalia na hakuna kitu inaonekana inafanyika. Sisi tunataka kuuliza gavana a delegate kazi sababu hawezi fanya kazi yote yeye peke yake. Kama ni mambo ya mata na mimi ni mtu wa Limuru ati lazima mtu atoke Limuru akuje afanyiwe approval ya shilingi 1600 ya, ya barb ama fees zenye zimechomeka kwa mata. Sisi tunataka kuuliza governor hakikisha umedelegate kazi kwa wale watu ambao umepatiwa kisheria kufanya kazi na wao. Na inafika mahali hata tunajiuliza kwa nini tulikuwa tunapitisha ma CEC kama CEC hawezi fanya kazi ati kazi yote lazima ikuwe kwa governor. Ukipigia CEC wa barabara, tinga, tractor ya kulima barabara, lazima ukuje kwa governor. Na hiyo kazi, sisi tunaona ni kazi ngumu, na hiyo kazi itakuwa haiwezekani hapa kiambu.